Roshan. Yeah. Good timing for Ehome. Yeah, they're playing a completely objective-based Dota. They're playing around the Roshan timings. They're not letting e EG open up on them when before EG the Roshan to stop this. I mean, they're the best team in the world at fighting Roshan when they're behind. Here comes four man smoke up. How do they lead things off here? Universe does have the blink dagger to start things with uh, a jump in. EG. They actually spread themselves out. They, they don't realize that Roshan was actually happening, it seems like. Universe jumps forward, but there's a blink over to the side from ROTK. PPD and some Shamil's going for it right now. Activated Lonham is actually going to be the target here on Gyrocopter, but the Winter's Curse plus the wall is going to be the target. Shamil now jumps in, going for ROTK, has to jump itself out, though, as it realizes the team fight is totally lost. Ehome will now clean up the rest of the heroes. Lonham will be taken out by Shamil, who now jumps over to get DDC as well. Still has some mana left. But hit by the split earth and the last couple of right clicks, maybe not worth it to get those two supports. But Ehom now trying challenge for Roshan. Samael buys back, and he's got a lot of mana. He makes a long range jump, going for CTY, almost lands on top of him, but he does still get CTY. Now man fights against YJ. He picks up the gem too. He's running himself out. He's low on mana, but just enough to be able to get over this cliff. So he gets the Lesh rank, takes the gem, but at the same time, Ehom will still claim Roshan. Does he still go for this? No way. The apology maneuver, but he's not fast enough. Aegis is now grabbed by CTY.